just be a normal field trip with a friend? No way! Cruising on down Main Street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Next thing that you know, you see it. Octopus in my neighborhood. Surfing on the sound wave. Swinging through the stars. Yeah. Take a left to Joe McDesson. Take your second right back more. On the Magic School Bus. Uh, Alligator Nostril. Climb on the Magic School Bus. Make a plane turn two. Take that. And I'm Magic School Bus. Drop the river of lava. On the Magic School Bus. Such a fine thing to do. So strap your bones right to the seat. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete. You might get baked into a pie. Oh, the magic scuba. Step inside, it's a wild ride. What's new? Listen, with the frizz around, things happen that couldn't happen in a million years. Like that? Not. But I'm sure you can tell the difference between what's real and what's not. So, click around and see what happens. And if you need help, click on me, Liz. That's what I'm here for. Well, everybody ready? Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Little Bumble Bear's Let's Play. I'm Kristen and I'm here with probably, in my opinion, one of the best Magic School Bus games in the series. One of my personal favorites. I played so much growing up. Oh my goodness. This is the Magic School Bus Explores the Solar System. A game where we're going to learn about outer space. It's going to be so much fun. I hope you will enjoy. Can you see how derpy the characters look compared to like the newer games they made? Look at their, look at her face over here. What is with that fake girl? What is with your face? Uh, yep, that was the, uh, that was the 90s. <laughs> I did not plan to comment on that. I just thought it was funny. Uh, but yeah, so anyways, give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Uh, do you remember playing this Jumpstart game? Was this your favorite? Um, did you watch the show? Do you like the, the original or the reboot? Let me know, and of course, subscribe for more nostalgic gaming. Check out the playlist in the description box to see other uh, Magic School Bus games and games by Scholastic. I have a Twitter and Instagram you can follow in a Discord server with such a kind community, and you are more than welcome to use the invite link in the description box and come say hi. Let's get started exploring the solar system. Enjoy. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm having a little bit too much fun with this music. <laughs>
Click around. Here's my permission slip. Saturn by Tim Saturn at a glance Why I want to go to Saturn Cool facts about Saturn Saturn is the second largest planet and the sixth planet from the Sun. The coolest thing about Saturn is its rings made up of millions of chunks of ice and rock. Saturn is mostly gas and not very dense. In fact, Saturn would float on water. The truth is, no one can land on Saturn. Choose a section of this report by clicking on the tabs Wait. Jupiter by Dorothy Ann. Jupiter is the biggest planet in the solar system, about one and a half times the size of all the other planets put together and it has at least 16 moons. According to my research, Voyager spacecraft also discovered faint rings made of dust. I think Jupiter is the most impressive of the four gas giants. The red spot on Jupiter is actually a huge storm that moves across the planet. This giant hurricane is as big as three Earths. The red spot on Jupiter is actually a huge storm that moves across the one of Jupiter's largest moons, Io, is the only moon in the solar system known to have active volcanoes. I want to go to Io to see some of these volcanoes. I want
everyone should visit Jupiter's four Galilean moons, Ganymede, Io, Europa, and Callisto. They are called the Galilean moons because they were discovered by Galileo a long time ago. Venus by Keisha. Venus is the closest planet to the Earth and is almost the same size. Venus is so beautiful. It was named for the Roman goddess of beauty. Venus is the only planet named after a woman. Scientists used to call Venus Earth's twin, but it's nothing like Earth. For one thing, it's very, very hot all the time. Hot enough to burn cookies and even melt lead. It would be fun to see a block of lead turn into a little puddle. Venus is very hot because the atmosphere keeps the heat in. This is called the greenhouse effect. One reason I wouldn't want to go to Venus is that the yellow clouds would burn my nose. The atmosphere is made up almost entirely of sulfuric acid. Venus is very hot. One reason I would Mars by Ralphie. Mars has humongous volcanoes which would cover parts of Washington, Southern California, and Nevada if they were on Earth. Mars is nicknamed the Red Planet because it's covered with dry red dust. It looks pale pink in the sky at night. Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun and the next one out from Earth. I want to see Phobos and Demis. They're the two little potato-shaped moons, named for fear and panic. I want to go to Mars to see if there really are any Martians. I've seen movies about little green men, but Miss Frizzle says in science fiction, all that stuff is just made up. <laughs> Mars has the longest canyon in the whole solar system. It is called the Valles Marineris. It looks like a long scar and would cover a big part of America. Mars used to have lots of rivers and atmosphere, but now the rivers are just dry canyons and riverbeds. And the Martian atmosphere was lost millions of years ago. Mercury by Wanda. Mercury is the second smallest planet. If the sun were the size of a basketball, Mercury would be no bigger than a tip of a ballpoint pen. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. Mercury has lots of craters. That's because it has almost no atmosphere to burn up the meteors before they crash. And because there's no weather to rub away the surface and make them disappear like there is on Earth. <gasps> you couldn't have much of a party on Mercury. If you cut a ball out of Mercury's atmosphere four miles in diameter, there would barely be enough helium to fill a balloon. I like to stand in the right place on Mercury to see the sun rise and set twice in one day. I'd 
get a lot more birthdays on Mercury. Four every year. That's one every 88 days, the time it takes Mercury to circle the sun. The Moon by Phoebe. The moon is the only place besides Earth that people have visited. At my old school, my teacher said people could live on the moon if we brought our own water, food, air, and shelter. Maybe we could even plant a flower. The moon is made out of rock and is covered with craters. The oldest moon rocks show that the moon is about the same age as the rest of the solar system. The moon orbits the Earth and looks like the biggest thing in the sky, because it is the closest. The moon seems to change shape because we see different parts of the moon's lighted side as it moves around the Earth. I was strolling on the moon one day In a merry, merry month of December Now, May. May. May is the month. May, that's right. May is the year of the month. Jack Schmidt, having a few problems. That's beautiful. This has got to be one of the most proud moments of my life, I guarantee you. Three, two, one. Ignition. Run away, Houston. Thanks are good. Excellent. I'd like to leave my footprints on the moon. They'd be there for billions of years in the dust called regolith. Because there's no light to go to the moon, so I could look down and see Earth. And maybe wave to my mom. Neptune by Janet. The great dark spot is a hurricane that circles Neptune. The spot is as big as our whole Earth. In 1994, it disappeared, but it might come back again, like storms usually do. Neptune is named for the Roman god of the seas. I wish I'd been on Voyager 2. It wasn't supposed to last for more than five years, but it's gone all the way to Neptune in 12 years, and it's still out there somewhere. Voyager 2 took pictures of Neptune and its moon, Triton, the moon that rotates backward. Uranus by Carlos. Uranus has at least 15 moons, like Oberon, Titania, Umbral, Ariel, and Miranda. Miranda looks weird, as if it had been broken apart and put back together again. Uranus is tilted so much that it looks like it's rolling along its orbit.
Uranus is blue like Neptune, but without the spot. The rings around Uranus are a dark gray color. They appear to surround the planet, rather than make a line across the middle like the rings of Saturn. That's because of the way the planet is tilted in its path around the sun. I like to visit Uranus because summer lasts 21 years. Too bad Uranus doesn't have any beaches. Earth, written for extra credit by Janet. Earth looks similar to another moon from our moon. The gravitational pull of the moon helps cause the tides. Earth has lots of clouds and weather. When clouds swirl round and round in a storm, it's called a hurricane or a typhoon. The Earth is the best planet in the solar system because people and plants can live there. The Earth spins on its axis every 24 hours. That's what makes our days. When the side we're on tilts toward the sun, it's daytime. When it turns away from the sun, it's nighttime. The Solar System by Ms. Frizzle. Comets are balls of ice, gas, and dust, like dirty snowballs streaking through space. Asteroids are chunks of rock, metal, and ice. They can be smaller than a grain of sand or many miles across. Meteoroids are probably small pieces of asteroids. Comets are balls of ice, gas, and dust, like dirty snowballs streaking through space. Without the sun, there would be no life on Earth. No clouds or no rain, either. Without the sun, Earth would be extremely dark. The solar system is our planetary neighborhood and is part of the Milky Way galaxy. The solar system is the sun and everything that orbits around it, including our nine planets, their moons, the asteroids, and comets. Gravity keeps the planets in their orbits around the sun. Sunspots are actually giant magnetic storms that erupt on the sun's surface and are darker and cooler than the rest of the sun. Solar flares are magnetic storms too.
<coughs> Why the sun is the sun? <coughs> what do you drink out of on the sun? Well, sunglasses! <laughs> you take them off your forehead. Pluto by Arnold. I still consider it a planet. Do not at me. Scientists don't even know for sure what Pluto looks like, but they know Pluto and its moon Charon are about the same size. Pluto is so far away that the sun would look like a star from there. I'd like to be the first person to go to Pluto. It's the only planet that no spacecraft from Earth has ever visited. Pluto is at the outside edge of our solar system, the last planet before the stars. Pluto and its moon Charon are geosynchronous. That means Charon orbits at the same speed that Pluto spins. Where are we going anyway? To the planetarium. Couldn't we watch a film strip instead? Okay, boss. Do your stuff. This bus is blue wing. You can't walk in space. Use the planet picker to choose a destination first.
Has anyone seen a telephone? Post office? Someplace where I can read my email or pick up a fax? And they're off! Mercury's first! The fastest planet of the solar system, circling the sun at more than 100,000 miles an hour! It's Venus second and Earth third! Gosh, it's hot! Why does Mercury have to be the planet closest to the sun? See what happens when you click around! This is the revolving planet science experiment. Planets revolve around the sun at different speeds. See how the speeds of Earth and Mercury compare. Click on either planet to make it revolve. When you see a birthday cake, click on it to see how many birthdays you would have had on that planet. <laughs> have your cake and eat it too. Go ahead, use the space bar to jump. Run left or right by pressing on the arrow keys. Click on the what's it if you want to quit for now. You can try again later. Take a break. It only takes this planet 9.8 Earth hours to rotate once. Yeah. 
This isn't green cheese. Check this out. Earth is just beautiful from... Here? Tim? You okay? In some places, moon dust is 50 feet deep. You know what the moon reminds me of? Pizza? No, I think of Phoebe, the Greek goddess of the moon. She's a hunter. Now that's takeout. This is the Crater Creator Science Experiment. Craters are big holes made by meteors when they crash on a planet or moon and explode. Use the slingshot to make a crater on the moon. Go ahead. Click on the slingshot, the green band, or the meteor. Then click on the finger to let her fly. Blast them! This planet is named for the king of the gods. Introducing the hardest working planet in the solar system. Sometimes during the year she appears as the morning star, the last star you see in the morning. And sometimes she appears as the evening star, the first star you see at night. A very talented lady and a very close personal friend, here's Venus! <laughs> Ah, 
I love Venus. All the craters are named after famous women, like Amelia Earhart and Florence Nightingale. I want a crater named after me. No, maybe two craters. <laughs> It says here that Venus is the brightest planet in the sky. But it's really cloudy down here. Well, from Earth, Venus looks bright because clouds block most of the sunlight and it reflects away. Did you know that those clouds above us are actually sulfuric acid? A deadly poison? Ow! Ooh, I just love sulfuric acid. Welcome to the Venus Blanket Science Experiment. The carbon dioxide and other gases in Venus's atmosphere act like a blanket and help keep heat in. This is called the greenhouse effect. See if you can keep the heat in on Venus. Click on the sun and the gas cloud to change their sizes. Then click on the thermometer to check how hot the planet is. What do you think would happen to a slice of pizza on Venus? Phobos and Demas are the moons of Mars. Their names mean fear and panic. 
Where's the Martians? They should be around here someplace. Oh, Ralphie, get real. Everybody knows Mars can't support life. <laughs> you know, Mars is supposed to have a volcano that's three times as high as Mount Everest and as big around its base as the whole state of Missouri. That's on the other side of the planet. La, 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 la. Welcome to Mars Match. These pictures may look a lot alike, but they're not. One is Mars and the other is Earth. The object here is to line up the planet with the right picture. Click on either planet to switch their positions. Then, click on OK to see how you did. Three strikes and you're out. But hey, you can always try again. Good choice. While there are sand dunes on both Mars and Earth, those on Mars can be much higher. Can you imagine the dune buggy you'd need on Mars? Whew! Terrific! You can see stars from both planets, but only Mars has two moons. Exactamundo! Both planets have riverbeds, but the ones on Mars are all dried up. Ooh, smooth! Both Earth and Mars have volcanoes, but only on Earth are they still active. Got a live one here. All right! Both planets have clouds, but most of the clouds on Mars are made of dust. <coughs> Got it! Both Earth and Mars have ice caps. But Martian ice caps are surrounded by canyons, dust, and rocks. Oh, yeah.
This is the biggest planet in the solar system. It's humongous. Know why we're sideways? No, but we're gonna hear anyway. Well, according to my research, Uranus and its moons are unique. They rotate on their sides, not like Earth and all the other planets. Look! <laughs> Miranda has the weirdest surface of any moon. It looks like this. <laughs> this is what Miranda looks like. Oh, I thought you meant Carmen Miranda. Summer on Uranus can last 21 years. Just think, if you were born at the beginning of summer, you'd never have to go to school. An endless summer. And if you were born in winter, Carlos? Ew! Endless bummer! This is the Tilt and Match Science Experiment. Planets rotate at different speeds and different angles. Try to guess each planet's angle of rotation by matching it to the angle of the beach ball. To change the tilt of the ball, click on the boot. To make the ball spin, just click on it. Then, try to make a match by clicking on a planet. Uh. Uh. Hmm, what a mystery this moon is.
Here I am, all alone on Pluto, the last planet in the solar system. Nothing but empty space, all the way to the next star. This is the Pluto Loop science experiment. An object has to go at just the right speed and angle to stay in orbit. See if you can send the bus into a perfect circular orbit. Click on the ramp to choose the angle, and on the flame to choose the speed. Then, click on the bus to send it into orbit. Hasta la vista! Boy, are we a long way from home. Yeah, according to my research, if we'd gone the speed limit, it would have taken our best 5,327 years to reach Neptune. And that's without a single bathroom break. Ooh, rocks from Triton, Neptune's biggest moon. I've got to have some. <laughs> Didn't anybody tell me about the ice volcanoes? Look at that great dark spot. It's not that big. Are you kidding? That spot's 6,000 miles long. It's a giant storm that moves as fast as 700 miles per hour. What do you mean? It's only ketchup from lunch. Look at that great dark spot. It's not that big. Are you kidding? That spot's 6,000 miles long. It's a giant storm that moves as fast as 700 miles per hour. What do you mean? It's only ketchup from lunch. These ridges on Triton look really strange, don't they? Yeah, this whole moon looks like a big cantaloupe. Oh, Triton, if we can't elope, let us marry. <sighs> We'd make a peach of a pear.
This is the planet cut and slice science experiment. Cut the planets in half to see what scientists think is in the middle of each one. Click on a planet then, snip snip. Cut it in half by clicking on the scissors. Next, A rap by Janet. DJ Jazzy Janet. Yeah, boy. Janet, my name. Just call me your highness. I'm here to tell you about a moon called Mimus. Mimus, your highness. Mimus got a crater a third its own size, not something you'd order with the side fries. Oh, this isn't a rap. Just shush your crying. Shush your fuss. Cause I'm the master rapper of the mad school bus. <laughs> From here, Saturn's rings look smooth and solid. But if you look closer, you can see that they're really made of dust and rocks and ice. Did you know that Saturn's made of stuff that's lighter than water? That means it could float if you found a big enough bathtub. Yeah, but it would leave a ring. A poem by Arnold. <clears throat> there once was a moon we called Mimus, with craters that said, come and climb us. Climb us, climb us! With mountains so high, they reached to the sky, and no creepy aliens to slime us. Cruising on down Main Street, you're feeling good. Next thing that you know, you see. This is the Design O Ring science experiment. Saturn is easy to recognize because of its rings. They look solid, but actually, they're made of rock, ice, and dust. Have fun designing your own rings. Whee! Click on the crank to move the dispenser into place. Click on the bins of rock, dust, or ice. Fill the rings and make Saturn rotate.
Jupiter's named for the king of gods because it's the biggest planet. That's right, Ralphie. And Jupiter has at least 16 moons. That's the great red spot, a hurricane as big as three Earths. It travels over Jupiter's surface, overtaking other storms in its way. It says here that Jupiter is bigger than all the other planets put together. And that it's a huge, huge, human, really big ball of gas. Well, mostly gas. Just like the sun. And if it had been bigger, it could have been a star. Io's great. Look at all those volcanoes. But I thought only Earth, Mars, and Venus had volcanoes. This is the Pack and Fill science experiment. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. See how many of each of the other planets can fit inside. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
This is the biggest planet in the solar system. It's humongous. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed exploring the solar system with me. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below which planet did you enjoy visiting the most with me. And of course, subscribe for more nostalgic gaming. Don't forget the playlist in the description box to see the other awesome Scholastic games on this channel. Remember, you are special and loved. You are never alone. You're always welcome to come back and hang out anytime. Till the next video, God bless. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye, everyone.